Okay, so this is the opening scene of the film, and we're clued in very quickly. We're very quickly we're clued in to what time of day is it? Six sixteen a.m. And also that this is his alarm clock, so it's like future, but not super future. Like he still has a wood desk. It's not like some fancy like hologram desk, right? But cool, cool clock. It also yeah. clues you in to where were we set. Yeah, I picked up on. I picked up on this like. The wall is dilapidated. There's like some, maybe some imperfections that's telling you dystopian, but then some sort of high tech clock is telling you near future. Mm -hmm. It's great use of, of the house. Mm -hmm. And so then we see Renton's bedroom and, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit not that well maintained. His, his windows are dirty. He's got that Ikea lamp. So I guess Ikea is still in business. Um, and then the bed sheet, no bed sheet. That, that makes me, that makes me so angry. Uh, but, but, uh, I guess, I mean, it's his room Do whatever you want. The, the darkened windows, isn't that on purpose? Cause he's trying to, oh. uh, I guess he doesn't want the air to come in from the outside because it's somehow slightly toxic. And also, I guess people can't look into his house if he darkens the windows i misunderstood what these were i always thought it was like nighttime outside but it's clearly daytime, <laughs> daytime. <laughs> and he's like painted the windows uh mm -hmm. black and so it's not dirty windows it's just in incomplete incompletely spray painted yeah incomplete oh yeah that's yeah i wonder if if he completely blacked it out it would look too perfect so he kind of splotches it mm -hmm. so it looks dilapidated like every right. other house on the block if you're trying to hide out in a place and look un, looks, you want the place to look like it's not maintained. But if things are perfectly black, it's like that's maintained. That's maintained, yeah. But it does bother me that there's no sheet on the mattress, right? Because right. if it's if you're in a dystopian future, product you know finished manufactured items are hard to come by. Then a mattress is going to be hard to come by. In which case, you want it to stay clean. In which case, you need to use sheets of some kind. So. If the sheets get nasty, you can either wash them if you have, them. if you can, or yeah. throw them away. But the mattress yep. stays pristine because this is precious. precious, so precious. Yeah, yeah, precious, yeah. Precious. precious. The mattress. <laughs> so this is Renton, the main character, and he's, I guess, hovering over Hannah, his former ex-girlfriend, former girlfriend, mm -hmm. and nothing, nothing here except the character introduction. Can we look at the next picture? Yeah. So then he's like caressing her. She's still sleepy. He sees on her shoulder mm -hmm. this this dot structure. Um, yep. I don't think we ever find out what it is. My my guess was that it was a medical device, something reporting I, on whatever her physiological state is. Oh uh, yeah, and I was also thinking maybe it could be some kind of like dermal ID tag. Yeah, that, that also makes used. sense because. Because she was, prior to coming back to Renton, she was captured by Taurus, the evil corporation. So maybe yeah. this is their, their tag on her to like, where did our prisoner go? Right? Yeah. So so in this first opening scene, there's just so many cool things of like, we're just in a room, but mm -hmm. we get these, these small indicators of what the situation is outside, right. what the situation is between them, what the situation is technologically, what time... Like what, what year is it? Probably 2030, maybe something like that. Yeah. So, close future. Not too far away. Okay. Yeah. Maybe fifties. I don't know. Something like that. But they've got these like dermal light medical somethings in their yeah. skin. Yeah. So we don't have it, but we, in our world, we can imagine it being close by in time. I think it's not that far away. Yeah. Yeah. So, so many cool things in just the opening scene. Fantastic storytelling. 